Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so for dinner today, I am trying out a new recipe for baked chicken ricotta meatballs with a spinach Alfredo sauce. So I'm kind of taking a shortcut because I already have chicken meatballs and I wanted to use them up. These are from Aldi and I got these a while back ago. I bought two packages. And so this is what's in there. Very simple ingredients, chicken, peppers, uh, onion, sea salt, onion, I'm sorry, roasted onion, sea salt, etc. So like I said, I'm going to use these frozen meatballs in place of the ones that they want you to prepare, but I am going to be making that creamy Alfredo sauce um, that goes along with the meatballs. So I'll make sure, of course, to link the recipe in the description box, but let's get started. Okay, so in my skillet, I added some butter and garlic and I just let that saute. Now I'm adding in some heavy whipping cream and a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna bring this to a low simmer. Okay, so I let my cream mixture simmer for just a bit and now I am adding in that freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I am using pre-shredded in this one, but I'm just gonna let this melt out and then I'm gonna add in that spinach. Okay, now it's time to add my chicken meatballs and this is what they look like. And I did let mine defrost uh, since I wasn't using fresh chicken meatballs and just pouring them in gonna give them a good stir get them all incorporated and then once I have that done I'm going to add in this chopped bacon okay so here is the dish and the dish itself is really good not a whole lot of sauce so if you like things really saucy I might consider doubling that sauce serving it with some garlic bread I was planning on serving it with a salad as well, but my lettuce already went bad. Now let's talk about those meatballs. Howard and I tasted them, and these meatballs are pretty spicy. They have a kick. So on the front of the package, it has a red bell pepper. And then if you remember before, when I showed you the ingredients, it has roasted red pepper as that second ingredient. Um, this is not an ordinary red pepper. I don't know if this is cayenne. I don't, I mean, I don't know what kind of pepper this is, but it's definitely very spicy. It's not kid friendly. Howard and I don't mind the spice, so we can handle it, but definitely Harrison would not be able to eat these. Small kiddos probably would not be able to eat these chicken uh, meatballs. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So trying out a new recipe today. I am making cheesecake style sloppy joes. So in my skillet, I have browned some lean ground beef. I have um, green bell pepper. I have uh, a white onion chopped up. I just added in some um, beef broth. Now I'm adding in some Worcestershire sauce. and some garlic powder. Yeah. Just gonna give it a good stir. And now I am adding in some cornstarch. That's gonna thicken that up a little bit. And of course, that is my toddler in the background, Harrison. Okay, so that cornstarch has dissolved and uh, I added a little bit more salt. I tasted the meat and it needed a little bit more. So now what I'm doing is just laying some provolone right on top. The recipe says that you can use American cheese or provolone. Let me turn that burner off, I forgot. And I am just going to let this provolone melt and then I'm gonna stir it up a little bit and then I'm gonna serve it on some buttered hamburger buns. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up and it was really easy to throw together. It does have a good flavor. I am serving mine on uh, toasted and buttered hamburger buns with some sun chips on the side and we are eating these um, French onion sun chips. And if I didn't mention it, I will make sure to put the recipe in the description box. 
But this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having grilled chicken and normally Howard does all of our grilling, but I decided to grill today. Um, and I actually used our charcoal grill this time. So for the marinade, I used this St. Jamaica marinade. I only had a little bit in the fridge and wanted to go ahead and use it up. Um, we prefer Walker's wood, but I just wanted to try something different. This is good, but not as good as Walker's wood. And then I also, that is Harrison screaming in the background, also wanted to use this jerk seasoning. I've had it for a long time and just needed to use it. And then serving it with corn on the cob, I threw that on the grill as well. And then I had this in my um, pantry and needed to use it up. So I just doctored it up by adding a little bit of red onion and some um, broccoli to it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Today I am making creamy crock pot Italian chicken. Now this isn't a new recipe, but it is one that I haven't made in a long time. So in the bottom of my crock pot, I have about a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken breast. To that, I just added some dry Italian um, salad dressing mix. And now I'm going to add in a can of cream of chicken soup. The original recipe calls for cream cheese, um, just like regular cream cheese, but I always use garlic and herb. That's just my preference. And I did let my cream cheese sit out overnight. And I'm just gonna add it in there. And now I'm just gonna cover the crock pot and let this cook on low for about five hours. Okay, so here is dinner. I let it cook for about six hours and then I shredded it in the crock pot. I know it doesn't look like much, but it really is very good, really quick and easy to make. Serving mine over some jasmine rice and some green beans that I seasoned uh, with seasoned salt and then some bacon. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having chili cheese dogs. A few weeks ago, Howard grilled a huge family pack of hot dogs and I tried out a hot dog chili for the first time. I'll link that video in the description box so you'll have the recipes, but it made so much, I decided to freeze half of it. So that's what we're having tonight. I have a really bad habit of freezing food and then not eating it. So this year I decided when I freeze something, I'm gonna try to eat it within a month. So that's what we're having. Serving it with a side of these green onion um, potato chips by Guys. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.